lives of the people in power. It's all about power. Nothing else seems to matter. Power is what they are after. In the lives of the people in power. It's all about power. It's all about money, power and position To them, it's all about ambition Deadly ambition Cause power is the name, power play is the game And they're all players in this deadly game It's all about power, oh yeah The end is all in vain, and it ends up in pain In the lives of the people in power It's all about power, it's all about power Nothing else How long will it take you to take the fools to pack traveling bags? Look at this one Falling like a mini bit. Oh, you guys want us to miss our flight to California, isn't it? Sorry, Sorry for yourself. I don't even know where that got this, this bunch of invalids as aids. You're just lucky I don't stay around. I would have been changing you every other time. Make sure the children behave themselves properly on this trip, okay? You should have come along with us to ensure that. Oh, come on. I thought we've settled all that. Look, you don't seem to realize the amount of responsibility I have as a Senate Majority Leader. All right. Mm, by June this year, we shall all be in London for summer. Okay? That's better. I'll miss you. I'll miss you too. Mm. Mm. I want you to take very good care of you. Bye, darling. Bye. Okay? Bye. I don't want to. <laughs> Come on. Bye. Hey, Daddy. Um, don't get naughty in an absence. You know, I, I hear a lot of incredible stories about senators these days. Shut up. You know your father is a decent and honorable man, don't you? Oh, I forgot. <laughs> Just putting your legs. <laughs> All right. And make sure you guys don't disturb Sonny's studies too much. Of course we'll disturb him. Daddy, he has to take us round California. Do you know what? I must meet with an Oswashinega live before I get back into this country. Trust me. Oh, yeah? <laughs> well? We'll miss you. Mm. See you guys next month. Excellency, sir, the Vice President of the Federal Republic. Yes, Your Excellency. Yes. Oh, that would be a great pleasure, Your Excellency. Tomorrow, then, 10 a.m. Thank you, Your
is highly disturbed the way the leaders of the National Assembly flagrantly sabotage the noble efforts of this administration your excellency mr. vice president sir I think there must be a misunderstanding somewhere because we believe the National Assembly has always given its full support to the executive and to Mr. President in particular. That's right. In fact, I am surprised at such a general allegation. As the Honorable Speaker of the House of Representatives, I and my other Honorable Members have always given maximum cooperation to the executives. But we have incontrovertible facts of all this claim, Senator Omar. State security reports indicate the intention of the National Assembly to run a parallel government. And this is a very grave allegation, Your Excellency. Senator Molly, then explain why the confrontation of posture, why the sanctimonious abuse of the exalted office of the president by no other person than the Senate president himself, who by implication is the head of the National Assembly. Explain it. Your Excellency, you see, we cannot deny knowledge of the bad blood which has been existing between the Senate president and Mr. President in recent times. Sure. But certainly, uh, that does not mean that the entire Senate and indeed the National Assembly have anything against Mr. President. At all. It then follows that uh, Mr. Sorry, the Senate President is a problem. Yes, he is. Mr. President and I hold all of you in very high esteem. We have high regards for each and every one of you which was why he requested me to host this meeting. Well, I'd like to inform you that Mr. President wants the Senate President removed and? so that this country can move forward. Your Excellency, Mr. Vice President, sir, with due respect, I'm afraid to say that that is a tall order. Senator Obey, it's not an order per se. It's my request. Uh, Mr. President is very appreciative of gestures like this. And um, your cooperation in this regard will not go, I repeat, will not go unrewarded, handsomely rewarded. Did you get the message? Yeah. Just cooperate with the executive and um, you smile. Though. Smile. Well, Have we all agreed to play together? Sure, yeah, sure, 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 sure. Good. That's why I respect all of you. 
<laughs> Alex, Mr. President will will receive this news with uh, uh, happiness and joy. So I'm also happy to say that this meeting is out of uh, it's over, so that um, we'll all go back to our respective duties. All right. So. <laughs> Uh, the stronger one of the Senate. Your Excellency. Thank you very much. Pleasure. this time is going to be different it is going to be out of this world in fact it's going to be the bomb ministers senators honorable members of the house of rep are all going to be there and you know that's why the money is these days so get ready with your good handbags to carry money and finally if you know you've not paid me consider yourself out of this all-important party. Sammy, can't I pay you after the party? Eh? After all, this is not the first time. So I don't have time for that kind of talk right now. Anybody, anyone who has not paid has up till tomorrow to do that. Or else, nothing for you. 20,000 Naira. 20,000 Naira. No more, no less. Any other question? Oh, one last thing. There is this honorable member of the house who wants special treatment with special pay. If you know you can give special treatment, wait behind. The rest can go. Tomorrow, last flight to Abuja. Good night. And you, Linda, come over here. ready to do any surgery on my illness, all because of money. It's okay. You say you're not interested, period. Ah. Okay, hey, 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 you wait. Just wait behind. Are you come on? Like, how much are we talking about here? Look, I could buy you a car. You could even build your house, spending on half what you can, you know. <laughs> 
Sammy, please. I don't want promises. I'm tired of promises. This is Sammy. This only Sammy in Abuja. Look, have I ever told you something I cannot do? Uh, so are you okay? I'm sure I am. Okay, so you wait behind. Um, just go, I'll give you the details later, all right? So you guys can go now, go there. Hey, you, Linda. Okay. Have you been to Abuja before? <laughs> yes, I have. But you did not meet with any senator or all these members of the House of Rep, have you? No, I did not, Sam. And that is why I want to make this trip, please. Good, good. But there's something you have to do for me before I take you there. You have to keep in that own chair here in Lagos before I take you there. And what do you mean by that? Do you know what I mean? You're coming with me now to my bank. Sammy, I have paid the money. I've but what the deals? Sam, look, I am not the only girl you're taking to our chair. So why not pick any of those girls to sleep with? <laughs> Sammy chooses who to sleep with. So, what do you think? Or do you expect to go to Abuja and crash into the party? Look, I don't have time. Let's go to my hotel room if you're ready and discuss every other thing there. It's okay, it's okay, let's go. But Sammy, listen, I would not do this again. This will be the first and the last time. I mean it. Come on, Sammy chooses who to sleep with. I choose one is enough. All right? So, let us go. I'll give you some good time. You will never regret it, girl.
<laughs> Mama, believe it or not, this guy you're looking at here is mine. My personal car. Huh? What do you mean? It's my personal car. <laughs> As in my personal car. Uh, am I not old enough to own a car? Well, it's my fiance that bought it for me. Fiance? <laughs> What type of fiance is that? That has not come and seen me and your father. And he bought you this type of car. <laughs> is that how they marry them? Ah, uh, that shouldn't be a problem. At least you have an idea that the person that wants to marry your daughter has money now. Eh? Oh, no problem. I'll bring him so he'll come and see you people. Hmm. Where is Papa? He's not yet back from work. Mm -hmm. I bought you uh, and Papa so many nice things. Hmm. Mama, eh? Are you not happy I did what you and Papa could not do all your life? I'm happy small though. I'm in town. Okay, I'll be with you in a few minutes. Yes. Okay, bye. Expect something big is brewing. Yeah. The legislative chamber is a dynamic place where things happen naturally. Mm. I have an important assignment for you. I'm tickled. Just name it. You see, the current Senate president has become a cog in the wheel of progress of this country. He has to go. The presidency needs a bad name in order to nail him. Your job is to set him up. Mm. The Senate president. Now that's a big one. <laughs> Tricky and daunting. Well, that's why I invited you. <sighs> this file says it all. Go through it carefully and ensure you digest everything before you start. Hmm. No mistakes, Lady Gold. A lot of people's future 
depend on this. I am flattered by your confidence in me, my senator. <laughs> <laughs> Before you leave, two million naira will be waiting for you in your car. Uh, <laughs> consider that as mobilization. I am excited. My senator. Lady Gold. I'll do my best. My senator. <laughs> Good. <clears throat> you know something? My wife and daughter. Uh, off to America. Mm. <laughs> so that means um, you are in this big house all alone. Home alone. <laughs> <laughs> and um, you know what? I'm just thinking that um, we could uh, relieve old memories. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> My senator. Lady girl. Stop having wet dreams over me. You know I'm retired. Are you? <laughs> but not to worry, I'll fix you up with something nice as usual. I checked the dictionary, those words no longer existed. I have already told you. What you are asking for is an illegality. <laughs> I mean, how do you expect the Senate President to cancel a contract already awarded through due process and re-award it to you? <laughs> it's not possible anymore. <laughs> Mr. Opara, please don't insult this country. Nigeria is a land of immense possibilities. For instance, I can raise your stake to two million naira. All I want you to do is push the file to the Senate president. <sighs> Lady Gold, you know this is very unconventional. Let the Senate president decide that. Well, listen, I could get past you on this, you know, but it's just not my style. Look, I'm willing to pay you two million naira and extra in kind. Ah, uh, well, I dare say you're very persuasive, Lady Gold. Anyway, why don't you give me two days? Let me see what I can do about that, okay? Well, I'm sure that with two million naira, you should be able to see clearly. You'll pick up the money later tonight at my place. Here's my card. I shall be expecting you. Lady go. That's me. <laughs> you know, when I saw it, I actually thought you wouldn't like it. Well, it looked really good on the guy. So when I saw this, I was opportunity to see this in uh, one of the shops in Milan. Oh, I knew it was going to look good on you. Actually, it wasn't uh, difficult. Besides, your aura is very magnetic. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I dare say you really know how to live well. Oh, thank you. I 
just meeting people like you that gives me the inspiration. Really? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, anyway, I really don't intend to stay long. You know what I mean? Oh, sure. I would like to keep a personality like you for too long. Now, excuse me. taken care of. Okay. Actually, um, by tomorrow, the Senate President will see you. That's good. So, you just make sure he gets his 20% cut. That's, <laughs> That's all. Oh, sure. <laughs> I knew I could count on you on you this deal. Good. <laughs> <laughs> That's me. Oh, I guess I have to start going now. Must they always come here to relax? Must they? How dare you ask me that? Do you want me to throw you out of my house? Ha! Huh. Do you know what it takes to do business in a city like this? Do you? Don't you ever try it again. Okay. Fine. I'm sorry, okay? I said I'm sorry now. Hmm? Let me get you a bottle of wine. Please. You're better. That's all right. My PA says you've done that already. Oh, yes, sir. I hope um, it's exactly the very amount we agreed on. Sure, sir. Sure. <laughs> That's all right. You see, if we have appreciated people like you around, things will be a lot better. <laughs> Make sure you keep the details of a contract secret. Oh, you can be very sure of that, sir. I am a secret myself. <laughs> <laughs> Man, that, that makes both of us. Um, have a nice day, lady. Gold, sir. Very good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nice, thank you, sir. Mm -hmm. Have a nice day, sir. <laughs> Your Excellency. I'm sure you're aware that there are two faces of power. I don't understand you, Your Excellency. See, it's either you're given power or you grab it. Do I sense that to me there is a threat of coal in the air? Excellency. Senator Bukwe, nothing of the sort. 
you see, you and I ought to know that our great polity has uh, grown beyond such mundane and a cake escapade. In other words, we no longer talk about coups anymore, or do we? No, no. <laughs> then I completely lost, Your Excellency. How would you like to become the Senate President? <laughs> Your Excellency is aware that the upper chamber of the federal legislature had a substantive uh, president. It's a simple question, Senator Ibokwe. How would you like to be the Senate President? Simple. Well, Senator Mule, you are aware, even if the office were to be vacant, I, I am probably the lift senator to be considered, you know, considering the mutual geopolitical arrangement in the Senate. Senator Mokwe, you are going to the Senate president, and your emergency is going to be constitutional. And I want to assure you that all the eminent senators, uh, including Senator Omole, and of course, uh, the Senate Majority Leader, Senator Umar, are aware of this arrangement. <laughs> I can see Your Excellency is serious about this matter. Serious is not the word. Everything has been arranged. You don't have to lift a finger. This is wonderful, Your Excellency. <laughs> Honestly, I am happy, Your Excellency. I appreciate you. I will not disappoint you. Thank you so much, sir. Senator Bokwe, while you celebrate the surprise, I'd like you to keep it to your chest. Yes. <laughs> that you and I have a long political road to walk together yeah. in this country. Yeah. Thank you so much. I definitely will. Thank you so much, Your Excellency. Thank you, sir. Senator Wale, I am happy. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Congrats. Thank you. Sit down. Um, young lady. So? It's almost an hour since we came. Please go and find out whether he is not free to see us. I'm very sorry, sir. I'm not permitted to announce the presence of any visitors. Instead, he calls to say that he is free. But we are not ordinary visitors. Yes. We are chiefs from his village. I am chief of Kore. He is Mazi Chimezie. The Kore Mwabe is engaging. Hello, sir. Okay, sir. Free now. Ah, not very aware, very aware. Is Sophia's wife there? No, sir. That man thinks he is smart. I don't think he needs that contract. Sir? Anyway, we can go. We can go. Um, sir, please, we have some visitors. Traditional chiefs from your village. Traditional what? Chiefs. Why are they coming to see me? Did any of them contribute anything to make me a minister? Did any of them ever visit my house before I was appointed a minister? Okay, uh, now tell them that I'm too busy. I can see him. Um, sir, please, they've actually been waiting for like three hours. Dora, I am too busy. Go. How many? Sir? Tell me what. Skirt you put in on. I want you to cut those your long skirts to this size, okay? Dora, Dora. Uh, 
Yeah. Wish you should go ahead. Not exactly, sir. I'm so sorry. You have to go and come back some other time. He is really, really very Chief. busy. I think you should come back tomorrow any other time. Oh, no, no, you did not. Did you tell him who we are? Chiefs from his village? Yes! About your time. Exactly. That's where you should go. Come back some other time. Chief, uh -huh. uh -huh. uh -huh. Please, let us use. I'm so sorry, sir. Please, you cannot use this phone. I think when you go outside, you should call him with your phone. Yeah, I'll call the phone. Is your number? Yes. I'm going to Eh, eh, man, I'm not going to. Oh, Chief Okonkwo, eh, Okonkwo, yes. Chief Okonkwo, I couldn't stop because I did. Eh, man, I'm Chief Okonkwo, yes. Eh, I'm not going to. 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 i am not going to i am not going to i am not going to Develop the Ndi River front into a tourism center. Yes. Mm -hmm. Tell me you can speak uh, English. Yes. <laughs> Listen, I don't want anybody to come here to disturb me. You did not influence my appointment as a minister. I am not the minister of tourism and culture. By the way, who gave you my number? Who gave you? I'm sure it's my brother Okechukwu that gave you my number. That boy is an idiot to have given my number to all kinds of people. Listen, I don't want you to call this line again. I mean, what is our own time to come to see you? I walked myself into this position and nobody helped me. Therefore, I owe nobody, I owe nobody no allegiance. I'm very sorry, sir. I think you would have to leave now. Come back tomorrow. Come back any other time and see him. Chimiki, me. This is our own brother. Excuse me, sir. Chimiki, I'm all for you. 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 Where are these people from? Please. Oh, come on. God bless you, Honorable Amanze. If Mabeze was the only son we have here in Abuja, he would have died today. Yes! If you see what he did to us in his office, no, we don't get that. You want chief, 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 What I mean, so? Please, my elders, I don't want you to take it that way. I'm sure there is some, some misunderstanding. Oh, no, misunderstand. no, there is no misunderstanding anywhere. You know, his father even warned us of what to expect in Abuja. No, no, no. we thought the old man was trying to discourage us from visiting his son. Now tell oh, me, honorable. This thing called power, is it mixed with hot or strong alcohol? If so, <laughs> why is it you are not turning, turning your head as he's turning more busy? Opening him more busy, Kofu. Each one did feel your office here. You see, my elders, we all have our different perspectives to life. Hmm? Like I said, I will speak with him. You, you better do. You better do because now that our village has produced a minister, if he fails to develop in the village, let him dream of not coming back to that village again. We will ostracize him. Oh. Yes! Mm. We will ostracize him. I can't believe that you would put We pull him Make down. It clear to him. Sound it clear to him. My elders. Ah. He has not come to die yet. Huh? Like I said, I will speak with him. Eh? Now. Just relax. We go inside. You have your meal. You know you're my special guest. Nah, you can go and have a plan and have a plan. Look at this. You should copy my call, Grand Minister. We put it in there. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Have our drinks. Then we go inside and then. I am your number one. Here was it. Come on in. Very good. How are you doing? Something big just came up. So sit down, sit down. You know, you always have this attitude of riding with the big tides. <laughs> I was actually dashing to the airport. My dad can wait. Okay. Uh, well, I just struck a deal with the GSM providers, and they're now willing to meet with you. 
Ridici. I never remember discussing them with you. Well, let's just say that um, I have this special talent for keeping a tab on things like this. <laughs> You're doing an excellent job. You're doing a job well. So tell me, what are they willing to offer? I don't know yet, but I'm having a meeting with their representatives tomorrow. You better do it fast, before the draft bill leaves my committee. If it does, there's nothing I can do about it. Let's just say that um, by this time tomorrow, everyone will be smiling. <laughs> I trust you. I trust you. Now, formalize this deal and give me a call. Wait, at the usual place. I will. I'll call you. My honorable. <laughs> Where is he? All his dizzy new goals. Oh, please. You have a lovely trip, huh? I'll give you a call. Let me hurry up. Take care. Thank you. Andrew, get the car. Get the car. Wait. Um, if you know. Waiting, gentlemen. <laughs> I had an urgent call from the finance minister. That's okay. We understand that you're quite a busy lady. <laughs> and this is Mr. Deusi of Unique Global Network. Hmm. It's a pleasure meeting you, Lady Gold. You're welcome. <laughs> we have the backing of MTL Network and whatever agreement we reach here. Hmm, that's good. The committee chairman is with you on this. But um, you must act fast before the bill leaves uh, to the general house next week. Our companies have made available 20 million naira. That should convince the committee members to step up the bill. That is chicken feed. 20 million naira is no small money. <laughs> I agree with you, but whether it's big enough to stop the tariff regulation bill is what I'm not sure of. Gentlemen. We all know that you are ripping off our people. Yes. Okay, okay, okay. What would you rather propose? Mm, 50 million. 50 naira. million naira lady gold? That is as good as asking us to close shop. <laughs> of course you won't do that. Don't forget, we have the Senate to contend with. And, um... Just be ready with a hundred million if you want to gamble it on your own. But with fifty million, honorable Ensure is ready to take care of the upper house. Lady Gold. Thirty-five million naira should do. Fifty million naira. Take it or leave it. You should be thankful that Honorable is even ready, I mean, considering the idea of killing that bill. Lady Gold. It's not difficult to understand why you're so useful in Abuja. <laughs> and for us to show our appreciation, we will also supply all the committee members of the both houses with a weekly recharge card worth of 10,000 naira each. We've also set aside 2 million naira for all your efforts. <laughs> <laughs> and please, you have to act fast. Okay, okay. Very good. We'll see you very soon. Okay. Thank you very much. You're welcome. So I expect to hear from you soon. Yeah. Hmm? Okay. All right. Okay. Bye bye.
Oh, oh look at you. You're mostly Thank you. Make yourself comfortable. Thank you. That must be the deal. Oh, yes. <laughs> million naira cash. I'm sure you couldn't have struck a better deal on your own. <laughs> At least not this fast. You know, you're not called the queen for nothing. <laughs> <laughs> and you know what we do in such deals. 10%. At least for your minor touch. <laughs> <laughs> Andrew! Andrew! Oh. Take this here. You know what to do with it. Uh, I'm not getting enough for you. Um, I have an appointment with my bank manager. <laughs> um, you just have to give me a very few seconds. Uh, okay. 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 Honorable! Yes, <laughs> my <laughs> And of course, you know our constitutional responsibility, you know, to uh, making sure that it's checked and balances. Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, you know, you people. <laughs> you know, we can't do without you people. Yes, yes, yes. I hope you I hope people are realizing that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I hope you are presenting our constituency very well. Yes, sir. Uh, of course, I cannot do without my people. Can the neck do without the head? It's not possible. Honorable Minister. It is welcome. I'll bring it first. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so, uh, you're from Ghana. Uh, yeah. So, I am very happy to see you. Yes, yes. <laughs> Can the neck do it on the head? Oh, from <laughs> where? <laughs> Yeah, definitely. The, yes, the yeah. neck cannot do without it. Yes, yeah, my people are trying, and uh, we thank God so far, so good. Yeah. Okay, it's really a wonderful experience. You know, yeah. serving the people. You know, they are all kind. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. Yes, it's, it's great. It's great. Very wonderful. Yeah. You know. So, yes. <laughs> To the good of our people. Good, 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 <laughs> good, good. Mm. Yeah, this is this is good one. Mm. <laughs> Honorable Minister. Yeah, Lest I forget. Um, some elders in my constituency visited me last week. And their report of your uh, treatment to them was very unpleasant. My brother, forget about those elders. They are nothing but leeches. Frankly, Mabese, it is wrong to treat our elders with such levity. You never know when you will need them. I have never needed them. They have not been of any use to me. They have never. Look, I have never won any election in my own constituency 
So why do I bother myself about anybody? Why? I think it's a privilege that we acquire these positions today. It should be used for the benefit of our people. My brother, if you're going to waste your time over some people who do not even consider your, your efforts for them, go ahead, it's your business. As for me, I, I'm here to serve my master, the president, and to make some money for myself. There you go again. Money, money. What about living legacy to be remembered for? Eh? <laughs> you are talking about legacy. The only legacy worth living in this country is to be as rich as you can in the shortest possible time. Look at my colleagues. How they are amassing wealth for themselves all over the country and beyond. See, Yaya, he has an era. Or Dion is about buying off one of the biggest shipping line. Olajide, Olajide has the largest share in one of the biggest shares and companies. All of them have choice houses all over the world. And you are here seated telling me about legacy. 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 Honorable, I think we have to change this topic. Let's discuss something more. Serious. Well, if you feel so, I agree. Uh, what okay. about uh, that's your project you told me about? How is it? Yes, uh, well, it, it is a very wonderful experience, and uh, by God's grace, in the next uh, six months, I think uh, we should have uh, completed the project. You know, my people are happy. I can tell I'm you. talking about your, your personal project. The one you talked to me about. No, 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 no. Now, for now, I mean, there's no plan for that. My concern is my constituency. I want my people to be happy. Oh, the black man say, a workman is worthy of his wages. It's all right. It's okay, my brothers. I want to make my people happy. And, uh, I'm so proud to be representing them. Yeah. So it's, um, I forgot to ask them, what of my diamond, you know, the house <laughs> majority leader of the ruling party what do you think about the impeachment well i think it's good you know it's the natural thing uh, that's democracy for you you see where there is an erring officer the law will naturally take its due course so the law has taken its due course and we're all happy <laughs> thank you thank you Excuse me, sir. What do you think about your impeachment? Let's go, Diva. Well, I guess the impeached senator is still grappling with the reality of the situation. But the big question on everyone's lips at this point is who becomes the next Senate president? Oh, <laughs> who else? Uh, senator Ibukwe, of course. <laughs> senator Omar, that was quite an excellent job you did. I'm so impressed with your skills. Oh, it's nothing, Your Excellency. I mean, you set the tune. <laughs> so this calls for celebrations. Oh, yes, it does, Your Excellency. <laughs> yes. Yeah. 
Welcome to the club. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you. Yeah. <clears throat> now that you have been elected the Senate President, I look forward to a more harmonious relationship between the executive and the legislature. Thank you so much, Your Excellency, Mr. President. You see, I'm assuring you of my 100% cooperation. Because I know you are instrumental to where I am today. And I want to say thank you so much. I'm going to be loyal to you and your policies. Thank you so much. <laughs> In politics, it is crucial that we watch each other's back. Particularly when we occupy positions such as these. That is true, Your yeah, Excellency. That is true. I am greatly honored. Thank you. I invited you here so that we can have a heart-to-heart -heart talk on some party internal policies. Yes, um, Mr. Senate President, like the forthcoming general elections, which is why we had to effect a change in the leadership of the National Assembly, we want to retain power. It's very vital to the party, the executive, and all that. And that was why we had to effect a leadership change in the National Assembly to ensure that our man is there so that the elections will come the way we want it. Take this file. Go through it quickly and we'll discuss. Your Excellency, I am honored greatly. Thank you so much. Okay, so, thank you. Let's see the person wants to go on away. I think it's best that I first let you know of my intentions to become the next president of this country. That's good news, Your Excellency. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's good, Your Excellency. <laughs> um, Senator Bukwe, like you rightly noted, you're not the best candidate for the Senate presidency. But I had to help you get a job. So I expect you to pay me back. I know all this, Your Excellency, and uh, you have my backing 100%. Good. Um, with three of you senators, I expect you to coordinate my lines in the Senate. All right? Especially you, Senator Ibukwe. If Your Excellency could be more specific. <clears throat> uh, I think what His Excellency is trying to say is that the Senate has to be reorganized. Uh, you are expected to reshuffle the committees and their chairmen uh, very soon. Precisely. I want my men to be uh, chairman of committees. And with Senator Omar as the majority Senate leader, I expect you people to work harmoniously towards my dream. Well, well, Your Excellency, I, you should consider it all done. Very well. Now, uh, Senator Omar will very soon give you the list of my people in the Senate. As um, soon as that is done, you work with it. All right? It's okay, Your Excellency. Now, this meeting is over, gentlemen. Thank you, Excellency. Your Excellency. Uh, thank you.
dark and beautiful. Hmm. <laughs> uh, come, uh, come and sit down here. Uh -huh. <laughs> you know, you're very lucky uh, because, uh, yes, I'm in a very happy mood today. Oh. And uh, <laughs> if you impress me, your bank account will thank you for it. <laughs> oh, hey, yeah. <laughs> what did you say your name is? Dream. Dream? Yeah. Hey, Kai. Take me there. <laughs> Take me there. <laughs> uh -huh. hey. Dream, dream. <laughs> Very good name, you know. <laughs> Do you dream? Of course. Uh, maybe me too. I will dream today. <laughs> hey. uh, dream, dream. Uh, uh. So, what mm. can I do to make you happy? Get up and go. What's the problem? I say, get up and leave. What's the problem? Get up and leave. Why are you wearing your clothes? You want to kill me, eh? They sent you to kill me. Yes. Uh, you, you want to give me disease? Uh, do you want to give me disease? Disease? Yes. What do you mean by disease? Uh, don't worry. Just go. Senator, come now. Eh? Mm -hmm. You said if I take care of you, you're going to... If I make you happy, you're going to take care of me. Uh, uh, don't worry. That, that was before. Uh, and now, the situation has changed. Just uh, take your bag and leave. <laughs> Why now? Eh? What have I done to you? Did I insult you in any way? Uh, no, you haven't done anything. Uh, it's just that I'm okay now. Well, uh, give me money for taxi. What money? What did money you do? for a cab. Do you expect me to trek home? What did you do? I don't know. You don't deserve any money anyway. Just so you can go. Take. Go, go, go! I wonder what is wrong with you. Just go! Bad dream. Yeah, 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 dream. Dangerous dream. So. So. Lady Gold can do this to me, eh? Poison to me? How about saying so? Poison? You want to tell me you didn't know that girl you sent to me has venereal disease? Venereal disease? Yes! Maybe it's even AIDS. Oi. That is not your standard. You disappoint me. I, I, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Senator. It's the fault of that boy. Eh? One of his my boys that went to bring her from the, the campus. Last time. Last time. Uh, that's no excuse. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Senator. I'll compensate you. I'll make two special deliveries. But listen, you have to be more careful next time. Okay, Senator. Thank you. Thank you. But, Senator, how did you know? Oh, you want to know everything? <laughs> Don't worry about that. Just leave that to me. Huh? All right. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Hello, Dream. If you see me at my place immediately, do you understand? Uh, 
Gentlemen, as the chairman of this committee, I am very, very convinced that we cannot move any further with this issue. I want to believe that we can close this topic. With no respect, Mr. Chairman, I feel disappointed. How can we fold our arms and allow Jason Operators to rip off our people? Honorable Amante, I urge you travel to Lagos and go to a place they call a uh, computer village. There you see our people lying up there just to get a handset. And you're here talking about reduction on GSM tariff. No, 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 no. The people you are defending use costlier phones than you and I. What are you talking about? Go to all the major cities in this country. You will see people buying phones every day and GSM lines. Um, Honorable Amanze, it is very, very apparent to you by now that uh, this committee cannot uh, afford to support your bill, your sponsoring. I want to believe that we have more pressing issues to talk about. Well, I know what this is all about. Last time, I introduced a bill to compel the satellite television operators to reduce their prices. Your people blocked it. And now, you are blocking the downward review of GSM tariffs for such lopsided reasons. But I won. The day of reckoning shall come when we shall all be expected to tell the masses of this nation what we have achieved. This, this, it, it can't work out on this committee. No, no, what does he think he is? That little brat working all out on us on this committee? No, 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 no. I can't, I can't take this. I won't take it. He's going to pay for this. He thinks he's a desire. <laughs> Maybe he's even from the Stone Age. Honorable <laughs> <laughs> Chairman, what else do we have on the agenda? Uh, actually, do it on. I understand. Uh, by the way, I saw your proposal and it was beautiful, brilliant. But unfortunately, I have my hands on a bigger project. A bigger project? I mean, what can be bigger than owning a shopping complex in Ikoi at a giveaway price of 250 million naira? <laughs> Lady G, I am gunning for something very big. And what is that? I am gunning for the governorship of my state. Wow. Now, that is big. <laughs> yes, and it's going to cost me over a billion naira. And guess what? By the time I become the governor, such properties will be very cheap for me and easier for me to get. Now... I get where you're coming from. <laughs> My honorable pension. Yes. <laughs> and um, I'll support you. And I wish you good luck. I need but it. I hope that I will play a very important role in this your project. Lady G, what can anyone do without you? Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> but I'll let you know when the game starts. <laughs> <laughs> My honorable. Excellency. Oh, <laughs> Your Excellency. Yes. <laughs> I have to go now. Sure, I need to go and prepare for my journey. I wish you some to me. <laughs> Bye, my Excellency. <laughs> uh, please, Mary, go. 
Cheers to everybody. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Uh, Adamu. Mm. Oh. Ah, get, get, get. I was just for no reason. But thank God we're back now. I'm glad you're home. Um, Rikia. Yes, Daddy. Did you see Arnold? Of course I did. Oh, Daddy, he's so cute. He took me about California. Daddy, America is so beautiful. And I think California is the most beautiful city I've ever been to. Wow, you can't say that again. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and uh, Ahmed, did you enjoy yourself? Uh, yes, Dad. Sunny really spoiled us with our things. Good, good, good. America is good to this thing. <laughs> oh, well, I did, I did, I did. Ah, uh, uh, Daddy, I need to go upstairs. I'm tired. I'll join you later. I know, but you, so. you only to watch the movie. You can't wait, man. Eh? I got this picture message in my phone this morning. What have you to say about it? Daddy, how could you? How could you allow yourself to be snapped on, on, on a bed nude with a girl? Linda, of all people, Daddy. For Christ's sake, Linda is the most stupid, the most foolish girl in my department. Is this what you do in an absence? Honorable Senator, we did. I'm sorry. You know, it, it was just a fling. You see, I was so, so lonely. Uh, but I promise, it will never happen again, okay? And you paid her 100,000 now? Ah. Mm -hmm. Rick, Rick here. your mother must never hear about this under any circumstance. Dad, if you want me to keep your secret, then you have to pay me for it. Okay. Just name it, anything, you'll have it, okay? I'll think about it. Why did she send it to you? Because she wanted to spite me. Just to prove to me that she could actually lay with my father. Daddy, did you think that she actually did it? Oh. My dear, she didn't take me away. Look at me. I'm still here for you. Please, Rekia, delete that rubbish from your no. phone. No. Not until I get my prize. But not to worry. Nobody goes through my photos. It's safe with me. Don't you think 500,000 naira is too much for shopping? And, and you did so much shopping abroad. Yeah, but that was for their own weather. No, I need to shop for our own weather. Rick here, you're going back to school to read. Not for a fashion parade, okay? That's right. And you know the school environment is... Daddy! Are you supporting her? Are you? Look, I even know of some senators who give out as much as 
A hundred thousand now to some useless students for just a one night stand. Break here. Abba, you took it to your father. Look, um, okay, you, you, um, my, one of my aides will uh, bring um, 400,000 to you uh, by noon today. Uh, but are you happy now? 100,000 is still left. Mm. Mm. Uh, Daddy, um, what about my car? I told you I needed a change of car. Rekia, what do you need another car for? What about your car? The one you're driving now, is, is it not good? Daddy, but ordinary commissioners' children drive more than one car on campus. Why should mine be different? Besides, how much does it take to get, for you to get me a nice car that would fit a senator's daughter anyway? Uh, um, okay, um, I, 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 I will see what I can do about it. Tell him. Hmm? I'm over car. Mm, it's nothing. Don't don't worry about it. Don't don't. Um, actually, let me look. So that's why you need two cars on the campus. What is wrong with that? I could even want more. Like three? Mm -hmm. Honorable Minister, so what we mean exactly is that something like the National Theatre should not be sold off like an item of trade. Besides, um... Besides what are your suggestions as practitioners? In the entertainment industry. What are your suggestions? With due respect, Honorable Minister, I think it should be removed from government bureaucracy and handed over to professionals to run it for better management. The government built the National Theatre. So how do you expect the government to hands off? Sir, I hope you have not forgotten that it is part of our national heritage. And selling it off is just like selling our national culture. I thought people practiced cultures in their respective uh, villages. Well, yes, sir, but national cultures are practiced nationwide. Well, uh, gentlemen, I've managed to under understand what you're talking. I'll get back to you in due time. Please do, sir, because that national theater Others like it shouldn't be frittered away. Gentlemen, for the sake of profit thank you for calling. I have a ministerial meeting to attend. Uh, I must be going now. I'll get back to you later. Thank you, Honorable yes. Minister, for granting us audience out of your busy schedule. We're good to you, sir. I'm sorry, sir. I didn't know any right thinking person would come to visit an honorable minister like you. Uh, for such a witty matter, I'm commenting on it. Well, you told me there are serious minded people coming to my office to lecture me on how to do my job. Yes, I did tell you that. Chima, sir. I don't want you to bring those kind of rascals in my office again. Did you hear me? Like I said, I'm sorry, sir. I assumed wrongly. If they want to lecture, they should go to our universities. There are shortages of lecturers all over. And not to come to my office to teach me my job. I understand, sir. Well, I think I'll follow up on them. Who knows? They might get serious. I mean, why would they come and waste the time of an honorable minister like you, sir? Because I have no call selling off those liabilities to call a national culture or heritage in a very shortest possible time. You better do it. Okay, sir. I'll just follow up on them immediately. I mean, it leaves, sir. to see her. She's my cousin. Shut up, Yama. Sir, he's my cousin. Will you shut I was just seeing him off. Stop, Who are you fooling? Who are you fooling? Now, get out. 
Now listen to me. As long as you continue to work here, I remain your only lover, your boss, and of course your benefactor. And any attempt to undermine my authority because of this relationship, you lose each other. I hope I made myself clear. So I'm not having any other relationship. Bet. Now, remember our appointment in the usual place. So my husband is beginning to get suspicious. I don't think I can make that meeting. Your husband can only disallow you if, if you allow him. He can't even provide for you, talk more of you and your, your little children. I know, I know what to do. Weekly allowance, okay? I'm because of the allowance. All right? is interested. Yes. Yes, I, I suppose this is two brothers. Who told you? The title of this film is Batman Begins. Hmm. In a man here. Hello. 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 Listen, I got you two lovely things. Go check in the car. Hmm? Ah, hello, darling. Excited to see me. Talk to me. This morning. What do you want me to say, Diraji? When you abandon your family here in Lagos and jump around all over Abuja and you expect me to jump at you? I don't run around Abuja. Eh? I'm there for the good of this family. I'm not the one that said they should move the seat of government to Abuja. I am the one. This one, don't be sarcastic. Whatever type of business you think you are doing in Abuja could be done here in Lagos, even right here from my house. Why do you have to relocate to Abuja if you don't have any motive? A married woman with kids jumping around from Washington to a governor, governor to weed. Are you suggesting that I am sleeping with government officials? I'm only trying to tell you to know who you are. I know who I am. Desmond, I know who I am. I am the one and only Lady Gold in Abuja. <laughs> you need to go and check out the new jeep I just bought this morning as soon as I touch down. I am doing so well. You are doing so wonderfully well indeed. But at what cost? At what cost, Dorati? You think I don't know what you could do at those places? What are you insinuating? What 
are you insinuating? Mm -hmm. I hope you like what I got for you. Yes, I like it. I you appreciate like you. Yes. Okay, I'm glad you liked it. Hmm? But mom, why is it that you always go away from the house? Um, I just go to uh, do business, you know. Uh, I mean, contracts, so I can buy you nice and lovely things. Mommy, when will the contract end? Um. Um, no, I'm, I'm not too sure, uh, but I'm here now, so <laughs> that's what matters. Mm -hmm. Let's close this. I have more to show to you. Mm -hmm. Let's go. Come on. <laughs> Let's go. I, you know, when I saw that thing in the shop, I really, really wanted to do it. Come on, come on. Why would you want to sell a land? Your father gave to you when he was alive. He's the eldest. And everybody in the family is afraid of him. I don't understand. Why? 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 Just a minute. Uh, hello? My senator. Yes, I'm still in Lagos with my family. Okay then. All right, bye. Uh -huh. uh, what was I saying? Uh -huh. Why would he, why, why, why would anyone be afraid? Why should everybody be afraid of him? Why? They said he knows all the medicine men in the village and nobody wants to die. <laughs> if I dedicate just three days of my time to that man, just a minute. Hello? My Honorable, yes, really? I'm not sure if it's still available, but I'll check before I return to Abuja. Okay then, all right, bye. I'm sorry. But you should switch off the phone while we're still talking, after we're talking something very important in the family. Uh-uh, you don't have to be that nasty, Desmond. These phones are the life wire of my business. You, you don't have to talk. Just a minute. Hello? Yes, who am I speaking with? Ah, Your Excellency. <laughs> Your Excellency. <laughs> yes. Uh, Ek, uh huh. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, all right. Um, I'll, I'll leave. I'll leave immediately. I'll leave immediately. Yes. Okay. All right. Thank you, Excellency. All right. Bye. Ah. Ah. Daddy, uh, something just came up now. I have to leave for Portacot immediately. That was the governor on the line. But you said you're not traveling very soon. You have to wait for us to finish this family meeting. Ah. Darling, this just came up. I have to go. You have to understand. It's business. Eh? I have to go, please, eh? eh? Where are these children? Prince! Vicky! give you people more money and more gifts than he does. That's all. Mommy, we still want you to be buying us more gifts. <laughs> I know, I know. Don't worry, I'll buy you some. Um, I'm going to give you 50,000 naira gifts for your pocket money.
was that for? What? Oh, you stole that perfume. It's not stealing. It's called shoplifting. It's the eating for big girls, even our blood. That's it. Don't tell me you've not tried that before. Of course I've never done it before. Never. For crying out loud, that perfume is quite cheap and you can actually afford it. Why did you have to steal it? That's the whole point in my day. The truth. The excitement of beating those sales girl and the security man and smuggling out of the stuff. It's really a sight. It, it, it sounds exciting, but uh, my heart nearly jumped into my mouth when oh, you did it to me. And nobody will believe it's your first time there. Try. Oh. oh, yeah. Mm. like I'm doing. Oh, is that the way you talk to your customers? But I just saw you saying our pants and you're trying to shout on me. You saw me doing what? What is the problem? Maya, I saw her stealing our pants. Me? Stealing your pants? Are you out of your mind? Tina, you can't Shut up! You. you fool! Did you see her taking the pants? I probably she was checking it and you just started shouting. Eh? Eh? No, madam. I saw her packing the pants inside her handbag. Okay, let her open it. You'll see it. My dear, did you hear her? Please, can we check your bag? Oh, you want to check my handbag? You? You want to check my handbag? Oh, God, I can't believe this. Do you realize the amount of insult and embarrassment you're causing me? For Christ's sake, I can buy this whole boutique if I want to. Okay, in case you have not noticed. I am a senator's daughter, Senator Jubril Omaro, the Senate Majority Leader. The last time I came to this boutique, I bought goods worth nothing less than 100,000 Naira. You can check your records if you want to. And today you two are here accusing me of, of stealing, stealing what? Panties? That, that is not even up to, not even up to a thousand naira. God, I can't believe this. Okay, fine. You say you want to check my bag. Hmm? You want to check my bag, isn't it? I will let you check my bag. But if after checking this bag, you don't find your panties in it, do you know what I'll do? I'll make sure this boutique is closed down ah. permanently. <laughs> sorry, Auntie, I know you can't do that. What are you I'm sorry about? Look, go ahead and check my bag. You know check my bag. No need, no need, no need. I'm really, really sorry. Don't be offended, please, eh? You're this stupid girl. How, how can you even imagine I, I kiss a whole central daughter or steal your ordinary pants, eh? Eh? That's how you scare my customers away. Look at you. Auntie, please don't be offended. I'm really, really sorry, eh? Please just buy whatever you want. I'll give you a good discount. Look, I will never buy anything. In fact, I'll never come here again. Oh, my God. You've lost me. You've lost my friend. You've lost my family. Oh. And that's it. I'm leaving. Please, please. Oh, sorry. Excuse me. Excuse me. You're a very stupid girl. Can you see what you've done? Eh? Can you just see what you've done again? If they keep correcting me, that's how you scare all my customers away. I think I better send you back to your village. I think I must. Very, very stupid. My friend, get out of here now before I slap your face. No sense. That woman is even mad. 
Agnes is just frustrated. If she tries to fail me in that house, I will make sure she's dismissed or sacked from the school. Listen, my dear, she won't try it. She knows who your father is, and she knows it won't take more than a phone call to send her to a compulsory retirement. So don't even worry, I'll send a message to her. She retirement. better doesn't try it, because I'm all out for her this time Don't around. worry, see, I'll send a message at first. Mm -hmm. Yeah, what's up? Dan, or whatever you call yourself. How many times have I told you to leave me alone? Listen, baby, if I don't really love you, I would have been doing all this. Now, I'm getting this into your thick skull that you can never have anything to do with me. You know why? Because you simply cannot afford a senator's daughter like me. <gasps> so, are you saying that a minister's son cannot afford a senator's daughter? <gasps> what is that supposed to mean? If you really want to know, maybe we should hook up like about 8 o'clock tonight so we can talk over this like proper adults. I'll give you a call like about 8. So we can hook up somewhere. Okay? Alright, bye. So tell me, why didn't you tell me who you were all this while? <laughs> Maybe um, I should have been carrying a signboard with the inscription, Son of the Minister. Come on, don't be silly. No, all I'm trying to say is that. Before now, we would have been lovers. I'm bearing in mind that always lied to you, you know, like admired your style. The problem was that I just didn't know you. So, knowing that you know me and you found love, what are we going to do about it? We'll keep it and enjoy ourselves. Mm -hmm. Or what do you think? Mm, of course, of course. But first, I'd like to take you and your friend to this big club for the big boys somewhere on the outskirts. Are you serious? Oh, that would be nice. You know, I've never really had fun in a very long time. I guarantee you, you can do this. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Nice to see you at home. I thought you'd have been out flirting with all those small girls. <laughs> hey, when will you begin to trust me, honey? Maybe when we have a woman president in this country. Mm. And I'm sure that woman president must be you. <laughs> you wish. So you'll be the first man? First man. Not a bad idea. That sounds funny. <laughs> <laughs> ah, did you prepare any food for me? Yes. Mm. And your favorite. Really? <laughs> That's nice. Well, um, I'll have my bath and rest for a while before I eat. Don't worry. Mm -hmm. I will massage you before you sleep. Thank you, darling. <laughs> um, please, just drop this up in the room for me. Uh, 
Okay. And he's from the bar. Well done. I'll soon be with you. I'll see you. <laughs> Cheeky. <laughs> smoother by the day. Tell me, what's the secret? <laughs> Maybe because I just waxed two days before I came and partly your handiwork. <laughs> I'm flattered. Did you hear the news about the mayor? Oh, about his demolishing structures all in the name of uh, urban planning? I hope he's not planning to bulldoze this house. He dares not. He knows what I can do to him. Do you know he's been going around stepping on so many powerful toes? In fact, the federal legislators are waiting to deal with him. Are they planning to remove him? <laughs> you are looking for breaking news from my mouth, eh? Because anything you don't know in government doesn't happen. Mm. Yes. <laughs> um, well, let's just say that they're waiting for his cup to be full before they strike. Hmm. That would be good news. <sighs> but for his wickedness, I would have been living in my own house today. Oscar, well, let's stop that. Just stop that story for now. I'm so tired. I want to sleep here and now. And what stops us from sleeping right here and now? Naughty boy. <laughs> <laughs> Look at you. I am so tired. I can't even move my body. I will move it. And this way. And when I'm through with them, they will go. Stop it. And when I'm through, you know what next? I will move you right <laughs> inside the room. Really? And then we'll see. in town. I, I traveled, yeah, I'm in Kanu now. Kanu? What's happening in Kanu? Oh, Ken, please. I said I'm not in school. I'm not around. I traveled two days ago. You didn't even have the courtesy of telling me you're traveling. I said I'm not in school. What? What's this I'm hearing? Oh my God! So this is Kanu. It has generated to the level of you lying to me. I'm sorry. I'm aware of the fact that you've been avoiding me. Please, I suggest you go somewhere right away and talk. Look, I, I want to know my stand right now. Okay, I am quite. I have left this catch on me, and I'm late already. Maybe we'll talk some other time. No way. Next time you could be in your room and tell me you're in London for all I care. Please, let us talk now. What is it you want to talk about? About us. Us? Yes. Okay. Okay, let's... let's... 
I heard you now date one guy called Dan. Oh, so you heard. That is it then. But that's not how we started. Look, I know. I just decided to move on. Life is all about changes, okay? Rikia, you know I love you. Even with all your faults. What did you say? Mr. Perfect. Holier than thou son of a nobody. Look, this is just what irritates me about you. You just think you're just the best thing on earth. Don't you have your own fault? Come on, I didn't come here to pick a fight with you. Do you know the problem you're having? You have complex. Inferiority complex. But let me tell you something. Dan is just the perfect man for my class. So I don't ever want to see you again. I will never have anything to do with you again. Did you understand that? Oh, Ricky, please don't do this. You know I love you. Ricky, I love don't you. you. Don't do this to me, Ricky. Don't do this to me. Please. Please, Ricky. Ricky. forced to submit my application. And you have come to collect it today? If it pleases you, sir. What if you collect it tomorrow? Will it make any difference? No, sir. But I will be traveling to the village tomorrow, sir. And I won't be back till Sunday. Yeah, that's good enough. There's no problem. Sell your wife. Let her come to collect it. My wife? Of course, your wife. Uh, can she find her way here? Um, uh, of course, I, I know this place uh, very well. I, I think I can good, locate good. it easily. Yes. Uh, yeah. yeah. She can find it. Uh, let her just come tomorrow. 3 p.m. And that's all. Thank you, sir. Oh, <laughs> thank you very much. Thank you. Yeah. I'm very sorry. Thank you, sir. 3 p.m. Don't keep me waiting. Okay? Thank you, sir. I'll be here, sir. Oh, that's good. <laughs> Finish your drink. Let's let's go to Maika's house so we can have some nice time. Enjoy ourselves. Sir, I can't do it. I love my husband. We all love our we all love our wives and husband. I love my wife. So let's let's not put family sentiment into this, okay? It's immoral, sir. You mean making good money is immoral? Or you don't want the contract again? Huh? Excuse me, sir. It annoys me whenever I move my hand. And when I'm angry, no contracts. is not what I bargained for. Then you're lucky to get more than what you bargained for. You're lucky then. You're lucky. See what? I'm going to make you independent. You can come here in town and be contract. Instead of your husband coming here and be contract. You might be on your own. Think about it. Baby, baby. You know what? We have to go to my guest house. That's where the contract's paper is. So I'll give you the contract immediately.
My tenure is fast coming to an end. We must find a capable replacement. The party is already working on a consensus candidate, Your Excellency. I have been doing some homework, and I'm glad to say that I have now found a perfect successor. Mm. He must be an excellent man to impress Your Excellency. Do we know his name? <laughs> <clears throat> Gentlemen, retired Major General Abdul Wali is my candidate. Your Excellency, another military man? What about that? What is wrong with that? With due respect, Your Excellency, the feeling of most party faithfuls does not favor a military successor, and so does the general public. Their feelings don't count. I have made up my mind about Major General Wally, and so it will be. And I have so also made up my mind against any military successor, and I don't intend to compromise that. Should I take that as a challenge? Well, um, Mr. Party oh, Chairman? Please, please, Your Excellency. There is no need for Fred Neves yet. I think we all need time, enough time, to reappraise the whole situation. This matter, as far as I'm concerned, can be handled easily and amicably. All what we need is to apply the right mental attitude towards it. Yes. My position is simple and clear, Your Excellencies. There are many qualified candidates in the ranks of the party than a military man. We can't afford to lose this election at this crucial time. Thank you very much for your valuable opinion. This meeting is closed. Mr. Chairman, could you excuse me and my Vice President? Did you not hear him challenge me? He must be removed. I suggest you calm down, Your Excellency. He can be handled. We can't afford an open confrontation. The party at this crucial time. Confrontation is not new to me. No matter the hour. It is either his lawyer or his out. There will be no compromise. Mr. President, I will talk to him. Meanwhile, I would like to take my leave. Sounded urgent on the phone. It's Mr. President. Hmm? He wants to thwart my presidential ambition. Wow. He just declared his intention to push forward retired Major General Abdul Wali for the plump job. That will be impossible. That is outright betrayal. After all your support and loyalty to him, you naturally confessed in life. That man became a card carrying member only four months ago. Oh. Anyway, the die is cast. If I must become the next president of this country, now is the time. You have my full support. I am giving you my total support. You have my complete loyalty. What? And I think we may have a formidable ally in the party chairman. His job is on the line and we must save it. We must. We just have to. This is getting out of hand. I called this private meeting, gentlemen, to alert you, Mr. Chairman, that His Excellency Mr. President has issued the red signal 
for a revival party chairman. So, what do you intend to do about it? Fight! I'm fighting to stand to your, your Excellency. If he thinks he can impose a candidate of his choice on a, a party who have suffered so much to build, <laughs> then he, he has got something coming. That's the spirit. That is the spirit. He must be stopped at all costs. No one man is greater than this country. We must not allow him to drift us into anarchy, chaos, and autocracy for heaven's sake. Exactly. Mr. Chairman, this battle is for all of us. We all have a stake in it. Your Excellency, I will need all the arsenal at my disposal to fight him. Of course, I know you are interested to succeed the president. You don't need to ask. We all need one another. I'm indeed very glad that we understand each other perfectly well. I'm the chairman. Thank you for coming. Thank you, Excellency. Yes, This tummy is growing too big. You better cut down and enjoy me. Evidence of good living. Maybe both of you are busy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll join you soon. We'll join you. All right. I didn't know that you have seen that my house. Sir, don't want it. Yes. Believe you me, when I saw it yesterday, yes, I nearly mistook it for a presidential lodge. That man. You were too fast in finishing it. <laughs> I had no choice. I want to start a new business there before the next two months. I hear you. I hear you. Anyway, yes. I will soon start the one. It's I very important. Very, very important. Before I forget, yes. do you know that this idiot from my constituency came yesterday mm. accusing me of what? abandoning them? What? Can you believe And what did you tell them? Don't you trust me? Of course, I gave it back to them. I told them that my own constituency now is my immediate family. Exactly. <laughs> Do you know that somebody had the audacity to ask me how I used the vote given me for project in my constituency? You don't and know. I said, my friend, go and ask the governor how he uses his own. Exactly. Or better say, the minister, exactly. how he uses his own. Exactly. Before you come and ask me. <laughs> the problem with these people is that they don't know how much we spent to get to this place. They expect us to play ball when we have not recouped all the money we spent in asking for their votes. My friend, look, let's, let's talk about something more important. Something more important. Exactly. How was the party at uh, Senator Okoli's uh, house uh, last Saturday night? Oh, you missed it. You missed it, man. I mean, this Apple Chester University boy, you be that? we are all over. Mm. I mean, the ones that can massage you, can you and you sleep for 24 hours. <laughs> Man, you may see. I this it was we fun. are going to reenact that party in my house. Yes! yes. <laughs> Don't you see how I'm growing exactly. younger? Exactly. <laughs> Man, put off that your yellow. Mm -hmm. She's there. Oh, she's keeping me. As you I know. hear you. <laughs> you are getting late. <laughs> Here, there's a check of fifty million naira. Chairman, I want you to personally coordinate the mobilizations of our parties faithful in the next primary election. I can assure you that there is more to come from where this is coming from. I admire brave and ambitious people like you. It is time the governor is giving a real competition. You are just the right candidate. <laughs> My chairman, 
This is one of the reasons why you were made a state party chairman. I want us to take the state by storm. I want us to rule the state together. I must be the governor of the state. No sweat. I will ensure that. I will. Good. Like I said, more we come out from where this came from. <laughs> I must take my leave. Let me see my SLS. Yes, you do have a wonderful day. My dear. Yes, sweetheart. Don't you think you're pushing this governorship ambition too far and too fast? Imagine the amount of money you just gave away over something that you're yet not sure of. Oh, come on, sweetheart. Who says I'm not sure of this? See, whatever thing I spent now, cannot be compared to what we gain when we become first citizens of a state. Well, if you ask me, I'd rather that you invest your money on something wiser. And remember, we have other responsibilities awaiting us. When I become the governor, my financial capacity will buy us a lifetime. Just calm down. I have all my strategies mapped out. Okay. But I still think that we should be satisfied with that which God has given to us already. <laughs> I honestly appreciate your concern. I do. But you see, it is the governor's office that power lies. I mean, the real power. The man is in total control of our resources. Yes, total, absolute control. I can virtually count the number of exits this man has in different parts of our country in just two years. My dear, <laughs> the election is mine. The state is mine. I will become the governor. I will rule the state. And it is for you to back me up, support me. Why don't you just go inside, prepare me a meal, and let us start celebrating as first citizens of us. <laughs> Sorry I underrated you, because everyone says you are the only one who can help us broker this deal. I thought you said you could do it on your own. Go ahead then. Uh, we regret the blunder, madam. Too late. No, please. Okay, we will up your take by 10%. You think procuring an oil block is like buying ice fish from the open market? No, it's not. We, we now see a bigger picture, madam. 15% or no deal? It's a deal, madam. Do you have the 100 million ready? Yes, we do. <clears throat> Here. The senior president is expecting you. He'll take you personally to see the vice president. You mean you knew I was coming? It is my duty to make such assessments. I'll be at your office tomorrow to collect my coat. Good day. By all means, madam. Staying over and I'll drop you off in the morning. Hell no. Look, I've never spent a night in any guy's house before. And I'm not even ready to start that now. I just have to hurry and get back to school. 
Uh, do I take that to mean when next you're here, you can stay over? <laughs> I don't know. Look, I'm not even promising. Oh. I'm, I'm running late. Let's just go. Mm? Okay, I'll just use the bathroom. Here okay, me. hurry up. Please. Darling, I'm running late. Are you through? <laughs> yes, I'm through. Okay, okay, I'll just get dressed. Huh? No, no, no. You look beautiful like this. Are you okay? Look, I don't, I don't really have time. Are you sure? No, let's just go. Okay, I'll put on my shoe. <laughs> hurry, hurry, hurry. I'm late for school. Come here, Let's go. What the hell are you talking about? How dare you? You don't have to deny this. You were the last person in my bedroom. How could you, how could you bring me so low? Accusing me of being a criminal? For Christ's sake, I didn't even see your go to. Not the talk of taking it. Okay, fine. Since that is how you want it, I'm going to pay for your go to. First thing tomorrow morning, I'll get you a thousand dollars. I've not asked you to pay for it. I just want to no, know what... Don't even try to preach to me, all right? One thing is clear. After giving you that money tomorrow, I don't ever want to see your face again. Come on, pumpkin pie. Listen, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. You, you know what it's like when you lose something of such value? It could be very upsetting. Go to a point of accusing me. Break here, Jabril Omar, of stealing your gold teeth. I'm just going to I'm sorry. I'm really, really very sorry. I'm on bended knees. You know, your smile brings sunshine into my life. Please don't take that sunshine away from me, my love. I'm sorry. You know what? I'll take you somewhere. Where we can put all this behind us. Where is that? Somewhere you're really gonna like. Come on. Stealing jewelries in a supermarket will make an interesting headlines in the news. Now what do you think? What do you want? I won't pay off and I'll let you be. Just one million, I'll let you have the original tape. And I can assure you, you can never see it in the wrong hands. I want that tape all right. But one million naira is rather outrageous. I'll pay you 500,000. Senator, your political career is worth far more than one million. There are a couple of people out there who are ready to pay five million just to lay their hands on this thing. All right, one million then. Deal. Great. No, I'll make it. Look at this rubbish. The black 
partner too in the hands of my enemies. The crawfish be this. They didn't do it to be this, so. Evidence now. See your tie. You don't bend, finish. Your shoe. You know if you talk about the road, when those scatter your shoe, finish. Eh? You know if you talk about Nepa. You know if you talk about Gary, where people know if you soak. You can't be say, na Sinator Uma's daughter. Now you can't fuck up with. Stick out! Shut. Y'all don't finish. I'm sorry. It is curiosity. Eh? You say what? Curiosity. Curiosity. Eh. No, no, say not curiosity. <laughs> Fire this bastard. Let's go. Don't shoot. Don't shoot. Don't shoot. Don't shoot. Don't shoot. Devil, they wait for you for hair fire. In fact, my nigga. <laughs> is going to be a long night. The fate of our party chairman who is sitting amongst us will be determined tomorrow. And we must analyze our strategies in such a way that all loopholes must be plugged. I think it's going to be a very close one because Mr. President has left nothing to chance in lobbying all the delegates. I think you're correct. Yes, <laughs> but we still have an advantage. I enjoy the confidence of most of our governors. Mr. President, surprisingly, still thinks I am neutral. <laughs> Your Excellency, and I have all the Northern delegates fully mobilized, and all the Western delegates are equally determined to see him fail. As his special grudge against Mr. President. <laughs> he thinks he has our confidence. <laughs> he is in for a shock. <laughs> How do I thank you, my good friends? Uh, leave that till tomorrow, Mr. Chairman. Well, on this note, gentlemen, I can't keep you waiting indefinitely. Yes. Um, we still have a lot more to be done. Meanwhile, thank you very much for making it. <laughs> The Senate President is so much Traitors, betrayers, infidels, that's what they are. How could they assure me and then turn around? I'm voted against my interests. Calm down, Your Excellency. There will always be a next time. Imagine allowing that arrogant man to slip away. That was an insult on my person. This country is full of hypocrites, vampires, political backbiters. Honestly, it's unbelievable, Your Excellency. I shall deal with them. Ruthlessly. Every one of them. We shall make another attempt, Your Excellency. That goes without saying. I can never give up on this matter. I am the president and the party leader. 
there can never be two captains on this ship. Your Excellency, I appreciate the way you feel about this matter. But I also want to implore you to please calm down. Calm down. Meanwhile, I'll take leave. <laughs> And Obi, I, I am telling you all this because uh, you are the one that introduced me to that minister's office. I don't know exactly what the minister wants. The other day he said something. Today he said something else. And I am sure that tomorrow he will come up with some other thing. If he doesn't want to give me the contract for all well and good, he should let me know. I go my way. And, uh, and, uh, and, 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 and do some other thing. I know your problem. You do? Yes. Listen. The minister will only listen to you if you had gone there with your wife. And especially if your wife is beautiful. I don't understand. <laughs> Are you uh, insinuating that um, I have to offer the minister my wife before he can give me the contract? Something like that. <laughs> Come on, we get serious. How can I, Solomon, Mama Alife, offer another man, my wife, because of some miserable contract? Come on, it doesn't happen, and it can never happen. <laughs> Look, uh, Solomon, mm -hmm. there is no joke in this matter. Listen, you know, that was why in the first place I refused to introduce you to that office. His PA, that is my friend, you know, had already told me that they did this minister as if he's juju, that he likes married women instead of young girls. No wonder. Now I understand. All the while I was in his office, he kept coming on and off with my wife topic, that he was sure my wife must be beautiful if I had my wife's photograph in my portfolio, you know, stuff like that. And I was wondering, what was all this story about my wife? That is it. Uh, so he's such a pervert, huh? That is it. Uh, but if I were you, I would just forget about that contract and pursue the one of the defense ministry. That is what I would do. Mm. No. Obi, I said no. I will do differently. You know what? Next time I am going to that office, I will go with my wife. What? You heard me right. <laughs> you don't mean it. He wants my wife, eh? To get a contract, I will offer him my wife and I will get that contract because I need that contract like hell. No, 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 no. Tell me you are joking. I will. I have no choice. I have to do it. I'm sorry to disappoint you, my friend, but it has to be that way. Thanks so much for that information. Uh, Honorable Minister, please accept my apologies for dragging my wife to your office to help me. <laughs> Um, yes, right. sir. Things are quite difficult in this place. I have to do everything possible to support my husband. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. You see, I love beautiful women who go all out to help their husband. Yes, I love this. Huh? So <laughs> You know how to get good things. <laughs> huh? <laughs> if I were you, I cannot have this kind of beautiful woman and leave my house to start chasing up her contracts here and there. I mean, she said no for me. <laughs> well, we have to survive, sir. We have to survive. I understand. <laughs> anyway, I've decided to award you the contract. Oh, okay. And you've done that. Oh, thank you. Congratulations. Thank you so much. But you have to deliver. Oh, sure, I will you deliver. I will deliver. I promise you. you. I can't fail you. God will bless you. Thank you, sir. Well, uh, Mr. Solomon, uh, why don't you smartly go there? Tell the, tell the secretary to give you the contract form. Okay. 
Så vi kan fylde det. Now that I've decided to award your husband the contract because of him, what do I start to get in returns? What do I start to gain? I don't know, but just anything you say, just anything. Are you sure? Yeah, anything. Anything? Yes. You'll be glad you do. <laughs> yeah, uh, like I was just saying before. Uh, Let's go. So, uh, uh -huh. Yeah. Uh, yeah, there is nothing. Oh, sure, sure. Yeah, just do that first. Oh, sure, yeah. Yes, I can see you're a happier man. Oh, yeah. Huh? yeah. <laughs> I will right. just with you. Oh, thank, <laughs> you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. 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 Yes, you are very, very correct, Chief. Um, I just came back from Abuja this morning. You are welcome. Thank you very much. Well, Honorable, I am telling you the truth. No matter the number of chieftaincy titles you may receive from other towns, nobody from this town will address you as a chief. Unless you are crowned a chief from this own town. <laughs> Better go and ask people who know the tradition. Is that the reason why some elders that are supposed to be supporting me are avoiding me? They have the right to be annoyed with you because they have failed us in the first instance. And but uh, I believe in giving someone a second chance. <laughs> that is why I'm here speaking with you. Chief. Our elders say that when a child fails, he's given a second chance to repeat. Am I correct? That is correct. Fine. I have made this promise. I have told them repeatedly. And I have promised that the moment I become the governor of the state, all the promises I made, I will keep them. The only thing I need from them is the support of the elders and that of the traditional ruler. Well, don't worry, I know what to do. <laughs> so tell me, what are you going to do? I will help you as long as you bring the money. Now, oh, how do you mean? I will convince the elders to back you. I will also take a few of them to meet our traditional ruler. For a chief decider to for you in this town, and uh, when the campaigns are properly, we will go everywhere with you so that people will know that your own people are backing you. That is a very <laughs> brilliant idea. Very brilliant. Um, uh, chief, I will give you five hundred thousand naira to swing into action. Well, I think that will be all right. I am counting on you. Trust me, trust me. I, I, I will not disappoint you. I'll do my best. Chief, <laughs> a son, a son is not beaten by rain when the father is there. Trust what I can do. I've never disappointed you before. And, uh, <laughs> Thank you very much. Honor, I have met and greased the 
arms of all the local government chairmen in the state. As I promised. Yes, they are now waiting for your formal declaration. <laughs> <laughs> Chief Odili, you have done well. Thank you very and much. I must say thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Honorable sir, according to your wish, I have already arranged for three chieftaincy titles for you from three neighboring villages. All you need to do is pick your debts and you are correlated. Honorable <laughs> sir, as we discussed, I have met with our leaders and other executive members of our youth association and they all said that you must be our next governor. Oh! <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. Chief Douglas. Uh, Firebrand. Yeah. You know me well. <laughs> How can I forget what you have done? Oh. Is it possible? I know, I trust you. I remember me. how you made it possible for me to go to the House of Assembly. Yes, and I will do it again. <laughs> <laughs> now, uh, uh, Chief, let's do it like this. Something just came up urgently from Abuja that needs my attention. Okay. I must dash back to Abuja and I'll come back. And uh, my brother. <laughs> <laughs> the chief whip. Yes. In fact, you own the youth. Yes, sir. It is what you say that happens. Yes. <laughs> Tell the youth, my excellency, that I will storm them. I will come and meet them, That's and they will know that they have a vibrant governor. Honorable, honorable. honorable. <laughs> Gentlemen, and like I said, and honestly, from the depths of my heart, I must commend. And thank you for your efforts. Thank you very much. Like my friend will say, Idia uh -huh. when the queen visited, he looked at the queen and said, I shall retaliate. <laughs> <laughs> In fact, the moment I get into the state house, yes. oh God, I will invite you in. And make you my secret advisor. <laughs> you are already the honorable. You are already the honorable. You are already the honorable. You are excellency. You are excellency. Nothing can stop you. Live now. <laughs> yes. <laughs>
So you want to kill me? You want me to lie to the minister? Come on, I am not saying you lied to the minister. I am only asking you not to tell him the truth. I, I just want you to go with me to his office and pose as my wife. And um, the moment we step out from there, I'm going to give you 20,000 naira. That's it. 20,000 naira? Yes. That's too small for such risky business. Risky? Yes. Come on. Is it riskier than the one you're doing right here? <laughs> huh? So you came here to insult me, Abby? You can keep your nonsense money. I won't do it. Now come on, I don't mean it that uh, uh, Come back here. Yeah. Let's know they play with you again. Yeah? I was just joking. See, I'm going to up it by 10,000. That is 30,000 naira. So which day? Well, tomorrow, of course. Okay, tomorrow. See, just uh, meet me at this address. Yeah, 10 a.m. Please don't keep me waiting. All right, I'll see you then. Remember, 30,000 naira for a day job, mm -hmm. huh? See you. All right, bye bye. I, uh, may I know why you ask? What's your reason, sir? Why I'm asking you is that you have to find a solution to this, to this problem. You have to find a solution to it. And don't come here again with your wife. Uh, why, sir? Uh, did my wife commit any offense? This is over. Excuse me. I give back to you, sir. Uh, but I really need Excuse a... Excuse me, Mr. Solomon. Uh, all right, sir. Something is definitely wrong. I can't put it together, but he is pissed. Now listen to me, all of you. This instruction must be carried out to the letter. From now onward, I don't want to see any married woman in my office, whether official or unofficial. Uh, uh, sir, I hope there's no problem, sir. I owe no one no explanation. Even those that come here with their husbands, they should all wait for me. Okay, sir. Okay, that sir. is the It's a night you've been waiting for. Really? Tell me, what's so special about tonight? Come on, pumpkin. <laughs> Let's find out. <laughs> okay. So what is it going to be? You can see.
Why are you going so early? Hi, you are awake. Um, I have this morning lectures which I'm rushing for, you know. But never mind, I'll be back soon. Okay? Mm. Bye. Deserves all the gold in the city. My <laughs> honorable. I know that smile. It only comes on when something good is about to happen. Something has already happened. Still happening. And it's going to continue to happen. Wow! <laughs> <laughs> this governor was a 49 king pain. <laughs> This is indeed a knockout punch. <laughs> this is it. Yes, this is it. What can I say? Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, so tell me. Was this investigating journalist that did this marvelous job? <laughs> <laughs> you don't need to know him. As I speak with you right now, your state is boiling. And they're all demanding for the head of your governor. You don't say. <laughs> so tell me, what do we do next? We just sit down and wait for the governor to react. And if he reacts wrongly, huh, then we will throw him a knockout punch. Wait, 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 wait. Don't tell me you still have some other punches left. <laughs> Honorable, you don't know me. You just don't know me. You see the punch that got him confused? That was just an amateur punch. Hmm. The next one he'll get will be professional heavyweight punch that will knock him out forever. <laughs> You know, I love this analogy. I never knew you were a boxing fan like me. <laughs> <laughs> My dear, guess what? I am going to buy a first class ticket. <laughs> Sit by the ringside <laughs> to watch this bout. <laughs> Before then, this calls for celebration. And I will be greatly honored to sit by your side and watch you drink. <laughs> Name the place. And you'll be there. <laughs> my honorable. I'll be waiting in my car. I'll be joining you shortly. <laughs> This governor was a 419 kingpin. This is the end of the road for you, Mr. Governor. <laughs> I, Obobo Dan Henshaw, will be the governor. What is the problem? I can see your handwork. Handwork? Yes, your handwork. Oh, okay. You mean the bill I introduced in the house yesterday? Andy, how can you? How can you be putting fire in your own state just because you want to become governor? What are you talking about? You very well know what I'm talking about. This is what I'm talking about. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> you see, my dear, any man that has skeleton in his cupboard,
does not need to seek public office. If not, one day the skeleton will jump out and everybody will see it. Now listen to me, Andy. I don't subscribe to this character assassination just to end cheap political points. It is not good and can lead to violence. Violence? Where is the violence coming from? My dear, you worry too much. I told you before. I am in charge. So don't bother yourself. See, my dear, I want to be the governor of my state. And I, Obobo Andy Henshaw, will be the governor of my state. Come rain, come sunshine. I will rule my state. I will rule. Very well then. I think I know where all this rubbish is coming from. And be sure to put an end to it. What are you talking about? Oh, so find out. Now, oh, we men. How oh, please leave me that. Stay away from my husband. Is that clear? No. My dear, I am not after your husband, whatever that means. He's just, we're just professional colleagues. Leave honorable and emotional in Okay? I'm warning you. Stop pushing him into self-destruction. Listen, he will be the first lady. When he becomes governor, you should be supporting him now. Instead of chasing shadows. Hey, Mami, go home and do your homework. I have warned you. Bye. Hey, the next time I see you, I definitely will disgrace you. I got it from Versace. Mm. I had them make this one specially for me. Mm. Nobody has it in town, you know. It's beautiful. Look, it's not just beautiful, it's just cute. I'm the only one that has it in this town, you know. I got this one made specially for me. Aren't you lucky? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you liked my nightwear and you didn't even bother to compliment it. You oh. waited for me to ask you first. I'm sorry, you know, you've got lots of them, so I don't know. Yeah. Um, um, let's just try and get some sleep. Okay. Are you sure you're okay? Oh, yes, baby, I'm okay. No, just have a lot on my mind. No, let's just stay. Well, let's talk about it. Oh, come on. We'll talk about it tomorrow. Okay. Tomorrow? Yeah, okay. Tomorrow. Just do it. Oh, come on. I'll put it to sleep. This right here. You bed waiting at this age? No, I'm sorry. It's just a mistake. Mistake? Yesterday's too was a mistake. God, this is so appalling. Don't you have shame? Don't insult me, Danny. What rubbish is that? How did he insult my family and I? After all, I was not bed waiting until I came to you to spend the weekend with you. And I'm sure it's, it's not your, girl, your ex girlfriend that is trying to bewitch me. This is crazy. You're the one who is mad. How dare you insult my family? In fact, I'm leaving this house. What sort of rubbish is this? How dare you insult my family? How dare you? Because I came to spend the weekend with you, is it? Leave him. You're never going to see me again. Don't blame you. You didn't see me in the house. You didn't insult me. You 
won't even see me again. Even if you like come back walking on your head, I won't even look at you. Rubbish. You didn't see me in the hospital and insult me. You will never see me again. You don't read us in that book. Get out of here. Are you here for me? No, sir. Who then? Chima, sir. Mr. Chima, Chima Nendo, sir. Oh, Chima, my personal assistant? Yes, sir. Okay. I sent him out somewhere. Just to top off something for me. Come, sir. I'm okay, yes, sir. I insist. Excuse me, sir, Chima is my friend. Hey, come off it. And we really love each other, sir. You are talking about love when I'm offering you the whole world at a platter of gold? Sir, money is not everything. Besides, I am satisfied with Chima. Listen, I met Chima. I put him where he is today. I can still take him back to the gutter where he be. Please, sir. I'm sorry if I offend you, but I don't think I enjoyed this conversation. Yeah. Now, meet me at this place. I'm sure you will enjoy the conversation. I can't. Listen, I can make you. Don't even mention it. Don't think about it. I will change your entire life. Don't, you can't refuse me. You can't look at me. Look at me. Listen, Alice, your boyfriend will hate you for this. Meet me at this place. Meet me, meet me, meet me, please. Take it. Have a good day. Women are busy pushing their husbands into achieving greater heights. What you do is sit around here and sabotage my ambition. Harassing people who are supporting me. Look, all I'm saying is that you take things easy. The way and manner you're going about this whole thing, you will just get yourself into trouble. Trouble! Trouble! Everything I hear from you is trouble. Why don't you for once in your lifetime be optimistic? Can you not? Hey, I'm doing this thing in the most decent manner. Others kill people. Some even get into a rituals. What I am doing is politicking. 
Is there a crime in politicking? My dear, why don't you for once support me and encourage the people that are supporting me rather than vilifying them and embarrassing them? All right, I'm very sorry. I also wanted to become governor. It's just that I... It, see, look, listen. You had better go and apologize to Lady Gold. You caused her a grievous embarrassment yesterday. And for your information, she is the engine room of my political ambition. She is in charge of my governorship race. All right, I apologize to her. You better do that! Do it fast! So, I am sorry if Alicia ever asked you. But you see, Alicia is not just a girlfriend. She's my fiance. Shimo. Sir. You know that it is like a crushing defeat when I lose a woman I'm interested in. You know it. I understand how you feel, sir. But you see, Alicia's visit was in respect of our wedding plans. You'll soon be getting our invitation card, sir. And I don't care whether you marry her here after. Sorry, sir. Not a reason. You can't have her, sir. Alicia is my fiance. You want to compete over a woman with me? It's not a question of competition, sir. What you're asking for is impossible, sir. It's like you're not interested in your job again. It has not come to that, sir. I, I can arrange other women for you. It, you know, I mean. You're fired. You're fired! You can't be serious. Now, out of my office. You're not serious, sir. Out of my office. Not over. I said, out of my office. But, sir, you can't. Out! Not over. I said, out! Wanted, isn't it? You're very happy now. I don't understand what you're talking about, my boy. And I was been waiting all this while, and you didn't even do anything to stop it. Now look at the embarrassment you've caused me. All the potential was when I had a whole goal. Have a, don't worry, come, come. A man that will tolerate all your faults will come, okay? He's already come and gone. What are you talking about? What the only kid that could tolerate me. God is also gone. Don't worry. Huh? It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Stop crying. Stop crying. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. I'm not that kind of thing. God. Oh. Chima, tell me this is not happening. Tell me it's a dream. What? Even after trying to seduce me, he went ahead to sack you. Alice, it's not a dream. I've lost my time. Why? That I was competing with him over a woman. Even when I told him that the girl in question is, is not just my girlfriend, but my fiance. He insisted that he must have you. And I said, no. The woman in question. 
is my Alicia. These men are the corridors of power. They are goods. So, honey, what are we going to do now? I'm at a loss. I don't know what to do, particularly with our wedding plans. I, 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 I don't think we can go ahead with this this wedding. Oh, no, we can. We can. Okay. With God on our side. At least I still have something doing. Okay? I can, can only start from somewhere. Okay? This man is wicked. Alicia. I don't know what I could have done without you. I really, really do love you. The president is very serious. Serious about this new anti-corruption program. We must be very careful. Hmm. Yes, Your Excellency. I think it is his new strategy to witch hunt us. Yes. But you see, there has been a lot of international pressure lately on him. So, we cannot afford to be caught in the wave. And I don't want to lose any of my people, either in the assembly or at the party hierarchy. I understand, Your Excellency. I want you to make a formal arrangement for my declaration. Not yet, Your Excellency. Why? I, I'm just thinking that we uh, need to wait a little while. Uh, let us finalize our alliance with the South-South people. Then the coast will be clear. I think you're right. I think you're right. Yes. I will have to wait just for a while. Yes. The very best. Thank you, Excellency. Yes. To the same experience. That is exactly why I want to talk to you. How did you overcome the tribunal? <laughs> On every potential. Very simple. My counsel presented the facts the way they are. And the petition I lost. Mm. You won the election, didn't you? Yes, of course, of course. Last slide. So? Last slide I did. Let me see, the little problem, I mean, the slag I have right now, is with the governor. So? My arch enemy. He's the one sponsoring this latest move. I were with him. Governor or no governor, so long as you won the election authentically, you don't have to be afraid. Just make sure that INEC presents the authentic results. That is all. <laughs> that is precisely the problem. If INEC presents an authentic result, I'm finished. <laughs> uh, yes, the party made sure I emerged winner of the election. <sighs> Horrible, Amanze. When I approached the national chairman, he refused to grant me audience. Well, Honorable Henshaw, it's obvious that um, your case is different from mine. And I don't think I'm in a position to help you. All the same, let's hope for the best from the tribunal. Hmm? I should be on my way now.
Excellent. Hi again. I like this your hair. Thank you, Senator. There I go. Come. <laughs> Baby. Tom, let me see. Oh yeah? <laughs> What color did you see, Mr. Senator? What? You know about my ring? Well, let's just say that I am not one of those ordinary girls, you know. I come from a different world. And by the time I am finished with you, you will know the difference between O and O. You know what I mean? Oh. Come on, Senator. Have me. I don't feel like doing this anymore. Uh, you see? Senator, why, why are you behaving like a schoolboy? Uh, no, I, I am not behaving like a schoolboy. Uh, you see, I didn't do any wrong for bringing you here, did I? I'm not complaining. Hey. Come on, Senator. <clears throat> Come on, please, have you me. See, you see, my wife will be waiting for... Yeah! Anyway, I am coming with you. What your children need is a motherly love and care. But you are never there to give it to them. So you want me to sit down here with you every day and do nothing? And then miss out on the action in Abuja? It is not possible. It is not possible. It is not possible, Dorothy, because you've not finished with the National Assembly men you sleep along with and the small boys you fled along with. Oh my God! Oh my God! Oh God! You look at this useless man. Useless man! You accuse me of sleeping around with all the men? When all I try to do is make ends meet to take off our children since you're not man enough? What is that supposed to mean? Exactly what I have said. Anyway, Dorothy, I've made up my mind to end this marriage. I need a divorce. <sighs> what are you saying? You heard me! You must be joking. You must be joking. This marriage can only end on my own terms. And that is when I'm ready. We shall see. We will see nothing. We shall see nothing. Nonsense. Use the less now. What do you mean by that? What do you mean by that? Eh? You know what to go there. What, what the hell is happening here, Dorothy? Where are you taking these kids to? You can see they don't want to go with you. I did love my kids as well. Come over, Does it mean I cannot take them out to shopping? Eh? And where is he going to? Listen, he can't take care of you. I will put you in good schools. I'll take you on vacation anywhere in the world you want to go to. I'll buy things for you. You know I love you. I'll do so much for you. He can't do Prince. anything for you. Prince, Vicky. Let's go. Come, I'll take care of you. Vicky, come. I'll take good care of you. Come. You people are leaving me after everything. You can go to Abuja and continue your favorite practice. 
your sins will soon catch up with you. Okay. Well, as for you, until when I get back, we'll see how that divorce will work out. Go to Abuja and continue your previous acts. Your sin will catch up with you very soon. Soon. You mean? You've seen it now. This is you real. This is, I said I watched it live yesterday on Network News. This is. And what are you all doing here? Go to the room. What are you doing here? You have to know. Something. You are supposed to be in the office. Sir? Or are you all deaf and dumb? No, sir. Are you. I know, let me get to the office. Um, Here today, we thought you resigned. What are you vomiting? Sir, the news is everywhere that you have resigned as minister. It was even in the network news last night. And the people are this morning. Yes, yes, uh, yes. I'm sorry, sir. You're you so shocked and surprised, sir. His Excellency, why resignation letter? You mean I have to sign a resignation letter before I resume office? I've just been appointed. You, you mean I have to sign this before I resume? You have committed various financial crimes, ranging from embezzlement to outright theft of public funds. Ready to play game. Excuse me, sir. No, you mean you're handcuffing me? Excuse me, sir. Let's go. Shall we, sir? Sorry, sorry, sir. Sorry, sir. Sorry, sir. Sorry, sir. Sorry, sir.
calm down and sit down. You're making me nervous. Why don't you just sit down and leave me alone? Stop nagging me! Sit down, woman! Sit down! Don't you understand that if the judgment goes contrary, I will lose all the millions I've spent in the election? God forbid. Nothing of such will happen. And you don't you trust God anymore? Hello? Barista! Yes, how did it go? What? Wait, 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 wait. See, see, you don't need to come down to Abuja. Talk to me, tell me the verdict of... Uh, just tell me on the phone, you know? Airport. Hello? Hello? What did the barista say? He's coming to... It's coming to Abuja. Abuja? Why couldn't he just tell you what it is over the phone? Put on the no! Put on the television. You want to kill me? Kill you. You want to give me a heart attack? Heart attack? What is critical time you want to put on the television? My dear. No, 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 no. You can't do this to me. <sighs> okay, Andy, please, eh? Come and sit down and let's wait for your lawyer to come. Please, I'm begging you. You think it's right for me, Sotis, now? Television? No, I, I'm, no. It's not. My TV is not on. Something on now. Okay, okay, okay. You heard something? Okay, okay. Uh. The election tribunal sitting in Enugu has annulled the election of Honorable Okpobo Dan Henshaw to the House of Representatives following petition filed by his opponent, Barrister Marcus Obe. Delivering judgment, the tribunal chairman noted that there was sufficient evidence to prove that Honorable Enshaw massively rigged the election to emerge winner two years ago. The tribunal therefore cancelled his election and declared his opponent winner. Further development on this matter shall be brought to you on our station later. Stay tuned. Ah! Tamuroi! Andy, wake up! 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 Andy,
Nor a governor. Mad. Why don't you stop nagging me? I, I told you before, this is bad judgment. I, I mean, bad luck. If you didn't start playing dirty politics and digging up other people's skeleton from their cupboard, nobody would have known your own skeleton. Who is talking about skeleton here now? I told you it is bad luck. Bad luck. So, when are you going to tell the children the truth? Oh, and that reminds me. Where is your lady gold that got into this fire? Where is she? Why don't you leave this woman alone? She's got nothing to do with this. What else did I expect you to say? What else? See, go inside and begin to pack our tents. We have been ejected from this quarters. As I speak to you right now, Everything attached to my office has been withdrawn from me. From my security to my drivers. I've lost all official cars. <laughs> my cooks. This is the only thing we have left as a property. Let's go. Go inside and back. You're leaving tomorrow. I get to do the packing of the log, right? While your so-called lady boy does the packing of the log, isn't it? Ladies and gentlemen, I feel highly flabbergasted. Very flabbergasted indeed that all of you are involved in this corruption scandal, this mess. What were you people thinking? Do you know how much rotten spanners this has put in my works? And do you know how far your involvement has affected my presidential project? Do you know? Your Excellency, I don't even know how my name got there. I don't know. Senator Omar, you will know. You will know, very soon you will know. Mr. President has a dozier on all your activities. But Your Excellency, I did not do anything, I swear to Allah. Don't even deny Honorable Tanko. Don't just swear. You are the one that buy cars for every other small girl you sleep with. Why do you, how did you make this money you spent? You left your family at home. Only to come here to throw lavish parties for these little girls every weekend that are supposed to be your daughters. Uh, so, Your Excellency, what, what do we do? What, what do we do? I don't know. What, what do you think? Your Excellency, I suggest we deny all these allegations. Senator Ibukwe, what do you deny? The Economic and Financial Crimes Commission's court have already concluded their findings. And and the result of the findings with Mr. President, lying then on his table. Huh? Secondly, they have evidences, proofs, and witnesses to substantiate their findings. I mean, so don't just try to hide behind any smoke screen. But Your Excellency, please help us. You are the only one who can help us now. We beg of you, please. At least one good thing deserves another. Your Excellency. I, I think you can still pull some strings to get us out of this mess. Yes. Yes. Senator Omar, it is late. Very late. The string is now with Mr. President and he intends to pull it very, very hard. Yes. So, the only option left to each and every one of you now is to show enough remorse, as much remorse as possible, before the Economic Crime Commission uh, squad wade fully into this matter. Otherwise, the consequence will be too grave for you to bear. Your Excellency, 
Please help us, sir. Eh? Well, gentlemen and lady, this uh, meeting is over. I will get in touch with you whenever the need arises. Your please. Excellency, please. One good turn deserves another. Your Excellency. Good. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Good. 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 We came out of the house of representative. Sorry, sir. Alert everybody out. We came out of this residence. Thank you. Change your politics, Mr. Governor. Mr. Governor, you are the president. You are the president. No problem, madam. When you get to office, you explain everything, sir. My friend, remove this thing. Senator, you are not above the law. You are you. I will use my valuable time and deal with you in this country. Let's remove it. Senator, please. I promise you. Apologies to everyone. Look, look. Fuck you, everyone. Like the lady. You will regret all this. Look, if I use my hand of mine for you, it is all about the law. You explain that in court. Oh, this kind of Sweetheart, you've been promising to take me to America for the past three months. When are we leaving? Oh, have you changed your mind? <laughs> If I changed my mind, you would have known. I would have thrown you out. You know I can't do that. <laughs> Sweetheart, please, don't play with my heart. It is very fragile and breakable, just like that glass on the table. <laughs> Okay, okay. I won't break it. Hmm? I tell you what. I'll be going to Lagos this weekend to sort out some family matters. Hmm? As soon as I get back, we shall both travel to Los Angeles. Oh, honey. <laughs> this is a breaking news. Today at the National Assembly, there was an intense drama as some top leaders of both houses were arrested by the EFC strikes court. Prominent among those arrested are Senator Ugokwe, the it Senate President, the Senator Om Oma, the Senate Master. Majority Leader, Mary Botanko, the Speaker of What Africa. is happening? What are you going to do now? What do you do when there is fire on the mountain? You run, run, run! to America immediately. Hey, look at this fool. How are you going to get to America? Are you going to trek? Do you have a ticket or, or visa? Excuse me.
something else seems 